السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ مرسف دا موسٹ کائن ہیلو این ویلکم اگین فار واچنگ آؤٹ آف فوکس ود می زہی نثار رشید This is a program where we obviously talk about important issues revolving around our society and the teenage um, hood today, about Muslims, um, being a Muslim in this area and like, the problems with it and basically generally just, just the important Islamic perspective on and view on um, topics such as behavior and things like that. So. Today, I have again my two guests with me. What is your name? My name is Shamila Alam. And how are you? I'm all right. How are you, Zahid? I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. What about you? What is your name? Um, my name is Nabila Alam. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're good, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nabila and Shamila are again joining me. And today's topic is teenage behavior. Now, Obviously, we're all teenagers. I'm sure you're uh, either a teenager or you have been or you are going to become one. So yeah. <laughs> it's important, obviously, when you go through that stage, everyone will go through the teenage stage, isn't it? Yeah. And, and basically, it relates to everyone. And especially, like, the people watching it. Yeah, like who are either teenagers or not. You've been through it or you're going to go through it. And... There's a lot of things to say about this yeah, as well. Yeah, there are a lot of, lot of, lot of um, messages. Yeah. That topic we need to cover today because... About teenage behaviour. Yeah. Because, yeah. obviously, like, teenagers, they're not really that... The, I wouldn't say the best of people, but they're going through, like, hard times. Yeah, okay. and they we go through a lot of hard times. <laughs> I don't think it's like right say to say teenagers aren't the best yeah. people because, <laughs> obviously, like, everybody's good people, but... Um, the te teenage time is like difficult for most people, especially during you know this generation and this age and around because of all the different like you know influences around us today. Because media, this is, yeah, this is the time that we learn. This is the time we develop our personalities, yeah. develop ourselves, and we make mistakes. We, yeah, make mistakes. What we like, what we don't like. What we learn about you for know. basically our future self. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, it's a very crucial time, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Like. Um, so it's very, very, very easy to kind of like fall into the wrong path or and fall a lot into of wrong traps. traps. A lot of shaitan's traps and yeah. tricks he does because in a this, teenagehood. Yeah, this is because because we are very emotional at this age. Yeah. yeah, because this is we are kind of, isn't it? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I love you. Because, <laughs> because this is the time where you're like most kind of like influenceable because yeah. you kind of I definitely yeah you kind of adapt. To everything that you're around, like whatever you're surrounded by, you we learn a lot more. Basically, yeah. we learn a lot. Yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah. it's it's like very very important to surround yourself with like the <laughs> best people because you are what your surroundings are. You are who you chill with. Yeah, yeah. Because you hang around with basically. Yeah, yeah. and it's really important to take the right path as well because yeah. obviously if you not mess up to say, but like if you do something something bad now that might influence your future, future yeah. like it might have a really negative effect and especially like there's a really important subject like social media this and that like it really the influences yeah, and media this day we are bombarded you with um, um billboards yeah not just that but basically um yeah so a lot of teens they get influenced they like I don't know, they just like choose the wrong path because they think it's yeah. the right, like the cool path kind of. And mm -hmm. just Especially like with being Muslims as well. Yeah, it's especially very Muslim hard teenagers. Not Muslim ha teenagers. Not hard to say, but like, it's, yeah, because it is there's quite hard, a lot really. more to do to in order to be like a good Muslim because obviously these these days like literally like 10 tw like 10 11 years they're going around smoking drinking yeah. this and that but See, the, the, the problems are the honest, influences it's, it's isn't it? yeah it's the influences it's the peer pressure because peer pressure that's everybody huge, everybody yeah. thinks that you know because everybody else is do it, doing it i must do it too but the thing is you could still have a childhood you could enjoy your childhood you could you're allowed like i'm sure your parents allow you to go out be, like have fun with your and friends, even if they as, don't it's for your own you, good yeah yeah know your limitations know that know what's forbidden in islam know what's haram and kind of just like 
enjoy yourselves but in a halal way in yeah. a enjoy way being that's a Muslim. yeah in in a way that's you know acceptable be happy with within yourself, Islam. Yeah. Be happy with yourself and be happy with be what happy you've with got. your culture. Be happy with what yeah. you've been raised your around. Don't general, try to basically. rebel against it because that's what your friends are doing. Because at the end of the day, when you're sta you when you're standing in judgment day and you're facing Allah, you like you're by yourself. No yeah. one's with you. You're by that yourself. Nobody's really. with you. Your friends aren't with you, and he's not gonna like judge you on what your friends made you do or what your friends did he's gonna what, judge you, you on have no you one did. to blame yeah you yeah. have no one to blame there's no basically. there's nobody that you know you could put your blame on because it's at the end of the, end of the day it's your, your choices e even uh, like a lot of people's parents are really strict and even if your parents you know make you do certain things it's your at the end of the day it's your choice and whether you want to follow those choices or not and you should always choose what your parents say to you rather than your friends because they're always saying it because that's what's best for you like yeah teenagers nowadays they're like very very kind of like influenceable and they not just influenceable like the media especially like corrupt them corrupt yeah, yeah have corrupted our society because it's getting yeah. like poisoned with like literally naked just like girls. yeah naked naked women constantly on the media like on instagram on youtube on TV, um, videos, like music videos, music videos, and music videos, little music children TV. watch, songs, songs of, yeah. Yeah. children, and, like, most of, movies, and people that. begin to think that's no. okay, acceptable. that's the norm, yeah, people begin to, like, people do think make that's the that norm, into the norm, yeah, people actually do think that's the norm, yeah. but obviously in Islam, and in, in Islamic culture, it's not, it's they start making it into that as the norm, and because, you know, like, people in other society. cultures yeah people in other cultures who are allowed to wear things like you know shorts vests like bikinis to the beach it's even though it might be acceptable in your culture because everybody else is around you is doing it you begin to do it yourself yeah, and you thinking think it's, it's all okay. right to do that like yeah. it's not that bad like, but the thing obviously is we're not are, here to judge yeah. anyone that the thing does is, it the thing is you are allowed to go to the beach but just wear something that's, you know, up, like, like that's a bodysuit there's bodysuits that you can buy to go to the beach instead of wearing a bikini like in the summer, I know it might get really hot, but instead of wearing, you know, shorts and vests crop and everything, and crop that. tops, wear, wear, a wear like a loose light. maxi dress yeah, something and with like a loose scarf, you know? You can still look beautiful in the summer, yeah. covered up. Yeah. To be honest, modesty is the most beautiful thing, and when yeah. you dress modestly, that's when you look the most beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, you know, Allah's Especially happy God with you. Does, yeah. Your parents are happy with you. Yeah. Instead of dressing... Um, in a yeah, slutty way. Yeah, because yeah. um, a lot of teenagers, they get obviously like, influenced a lot by friends in the media, like so basic social media, like yeah. friends, the people they're around, the area they live in. I think we already covered that. Well. Like, you know, the area they live in. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, that's true. Like, music, like, songs, stuff, like, basically, like, the things they I'm watch. Also kinda, like, and kind of, like, something in. Um, yeah. This is also the time when your hormones are, are changing raging. and like you they begin, start being attracted sorry they start being attracted yeah, you to them like when your hormones are literally raging that's when you you know that's when you start developing that thing called lust <laughs> so like like your like that's when your attract attraction begins to develop but you need to like kind, kind of learn to refrain yourself and like no um, I'm not everyone has that thing yourself. yeah yeah because you're not meant to like look at the opposite and then go like oh my god that guy's good looking like yeah you should so, like so guys should, at the end of the day you're, you're the one that's going to get married to yeah um one and there's someone and you don't want like him to be like out to other girls because yeah, yeah that's like one that's like it. huge thing like a lot of like young people these days like seven like 14 15 they're going around having 12, boyfriends 13. falling yeah. in love yeah. like it's you don't know what love is at this age like even like in channels like Disney Channel, like yeah, oh my I God, think that kids like show Millie and Molly, like Millie, <laughs> Millie and Molly. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Millie, oh, does Millie have a boyfriend or something? <laughs> no, Millie but then like old. even like Disney shows, they they like base their yeah, like, the plots around yeah, love. plots around like love and dating and you know like teenage relationships and you kind of begin to think, oh, that's how you're so that's what it's that's supposed how, to yeah. be like, you know. You're supposed to look at boys, but obviously, that, but obviously right wrong. now at this age, like boys should be completely out of the picture. You should be focusing on your education, studies. family, and uh, praying, living like, a, a good life. life. Yeah, Islam and like it's just 
I find it's kind of like stupid that the girls they go like, no, I'm in love with this guy. I'm gonna marry him in the future. This and that. But we all know at the end of the day, it's you not gonna last. Hurt. Yeah. It's not just that it's not gonna last. You end up getting hurt. Yeah, hurt. Cause. And that's the worst because, you know. Also, like teenagers are just like, it's not even their fault. It's not like the teenagers' fault. It's so much to do with the media. I think. If you kind of just like um, learn to not focus on the media as much and try to like listen to what your parents say, and because of the hormones, like I mentioned, you begin to like rebel a lot. Like, yeah, you don't rebel. Because um, yeah. there's this thing that kind of make you go against authority, and like so you begin to you know disrespect teachers, kind of not listen to your parents as oh, much. Oh, the basically yeah. in general. Because at that age you're kind of like threatened by authority and when you're threatened it's like instinct to get kind of like you know defensive against them yeah defensive so when you get defensive you kind of like do everything that they tell you not to do because you see them as you know the enemy yeah as the enemy although that's not the case at all and i'm not saying that your friends are your enemy but they are they're not your enemy but they are if they're if they're bad like you know putting you into the wrong paths and if they're making you rebel against your parents and yeah. elder people that actually want the best for you. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. at this age, it's really important to choose the right friend group and the people you hang out with because they're because the if ones it's, that if they're are going to influence you a lot. Isn't it? Yeah, if like they're if bad, they're, that's it. Yeah, because if they're choosing the wrong lifestyle, like most people won't agree with what they're doing. Then, like, And you start doing it, then obviously like it's going to affect you badly because, you know, you're going to start thinking, oh, what they're doing is right, it's like, it's the no it's normal, this and that, but then obviously... Just think about it, like, t when 20 years in the future, when you have children, would you want your children to be doing that? Would what you be okay doing, with your children to be doing that? And would you, like, kind of be happy that you did that yourself when you're 20, proud. you know? Yeah, would, would you be, be proud, proud of, of like, what you or did? Or would you regret it? Or would you regret it? Yeah, if you exactly. do think you're going to regret it. It's more likely it. in this scenario that you will regret it, obviously, isn't it? Yeah. So, mm. obviously, it's, it's okay to make, make mistakes, but not don't do the same mistake again, is, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Know now, by watching this program, that that is wrong. So you won't do it. So you won't have that regret feeling inside your, yeah. inside your, you, in it? Yeah. And especially, um, what was what else is there like? It's like children. it's a lot of things, isn't it? It's like like um, teenage behavior, and I'm sure like most of most teenagers have little siblings, and yeah, what, just exactly. remember whatever you do, models, whatever you do reflect on what they do in the future. So kind of keep in the back of your head that you are a role model to your little little sister or brother, and you need to kind of set an example so they don't end up doing anything bad in their lives. And obviously you are allowed to make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, we're not perfect. We've definitely then, made mistakes. Yeah. But you have to learn from it. Learn from it and no matter what happens, like the most important thing, no matter what happens, always consult like your parents, like console your parents and kind Tell of like- Tell your parents, yeah. in, in, confide in confide your Confide in your parents, definitely. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so teenagers as well, they're, they're like, what else is there to say? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, the, there's some good ones and there's some bad ones, isn't it? It's Not, always like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like, especially for like a Muslim um, teenagers, yeah, there's some it's not, good like, ones and some it's bad not ones. much harder to like live a normal life. Not li like, yeah, just be like a normal teenager, go to school, you know, education, this and that, because like, you should be doing that. Like, uh, you should always be following education, but then you should always like. Be, you should be praying. You, sh you know, you should be yeah. like. Um, thinking of Allah with everything you do in your school. Yeah, this and that. Like when you always, go to school. I think the main advice is, no matter what you do, no matter what happens, always look back to Islam and use that as your guidelines. Is this okay to do within Islam? Is this what? is right to do with Islam. And if it's is wrong. This, yeah, and is this what would get me into Jannah? Because if it isn't, then you know you shouldn't be doing it and you should yourself choose to walk away from that situation. Like, Yeah, I think I agree with Nib I agree with Nabila's point, isn't it? Yeah, that like... Um, you, you obviously should look back to Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your main priorities are Allah, your mum, your mum, <laughs> your mum, 
and um, respecting your mum. Yeah, basically respecting your mum, respecting your dad, and your education. Because, because if you flip yeah. your education now, that yeah. if you flip your education that's one of the main, yeah, that's like one of the main things as well. Like right now, well, you, you should be so much on your education. Well, you can't yeah, right now, recently now. the exams are going on, isn't it? Yeah, and um, well, they've also changed the. What you can't as enjoyable now isn't going to be the same in the future. Older. Like yeah, you'd rather have a comfortable, enjoyable future than ha like have a little bit of fun now and ruin the rest of your life. Yeah, temporary yeah, fun um, now, like that won't mean anything, that's not mean anything to you. Because cause mm. do you want a job at McDonald's? Mm. Not like, yeah, basically like right now, what you do in your life, I don't know, just like, um, you know, there's you're st like at school there's GCSEs, there's like A levels, like so many like exams isn't that probably going through in your life and there's just so much stress right now and just like it's a lot harder for you but then you should always just always just like Take focus a on yeah, just kind of relax and then like kind of sort your life out kind of and like make a timetable so you know like what to yeah. do in your life make like a timetable for your life basically. yeah basically <laughs> kind of but like well, I think so we'll you get a right amount of education yeah. right amount of like relaxing you know so just, like, yeah because there's a lot of stress too yeah, when you become a teenager like it's so different like, when you're a child and you're a teenager because you're you're not an adult but you're not a child yeah, yeah. so it's you just know, in a lot between. of stress. yeah there's, there's a saying the devil makes work for idle hands so it basically means like if you have nothing to do that's when you know shaitan influences you to do bad things like boredom causes you to you know do bad things that's why i think always keep yourself busy always like keep your schedule full like always um but make sure you always have you know relaxing time no, no time for you to pray oh, and yeah. leave time for you to pray and for your education and everything but maybe like do kind cooking. of like an extracurricular activity say cooking. you could do yeah you could go to cooking club you could do karate mma you know yeah anything there's anything that you can do um, and there's like a lot art of clubs there's like i think anything at school and well. anything as well just like yeah um and also like a lot of just keep yourself busy do a yeah. sport go to gym yeah keep active exercises and that Stay healthy. Um, yeah, stay, stay healthy. healthy. Diet, no, not diet. Um, Shamila's on a diet right now, isn't it? <laughs> diet. No, but basically, diet um, as in you know, change your eating habits eating, to yeah. eat healthier. Have like a balanced eat diet. More vegetables. Not extreme <laughs> diet, like uh, not, not eating. Yeah. Don't starve yourself. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what else? There, like teenagers. Oh, um, <laughs> another thing. Like you know, when you're older, like what you do at your age right now is going to influence what's going to happen in the future with your jobs, this and that, like. Yeah. Say for instance, I'm just gonna, this is completely like random, but you know if you're like on social media and you post stuff and like, you know, you're just oh, doing your bad job, stuff on yeah, there. Yeah, your job's gonna get yeah. modest, like a picture yeah. say for instance, maybe, you post, you know, like, you're showing your. Yeah, no, say for instance, you post like a really cleavage, kind of bar. dirty, like picture. Yeah, dirty kind of like. <laughs> kind like, if you get, you guys revealing. get like, yeah, revealing kind of picture in a of yourself, basically. it's just always going to stay on there and in the future that might affect your life because most jobs these days they like do background google checks, your name. Yeah, they'll google your name, they'll try to find out as much as they can about you and if they see a picture like that that was put up there they're going to think oh you're not the most, like you're not the type of person we want to hire and that might like lead, lead to like really you know, negative like things. You the know. negative thing, like you might be a really you important job the most that you could have had. Job that you might have. Yeah. Yeah. Well about job jobs and stuff because of yeah. a silly picture that you yeah. posted when you were what 13, 14? Yeah. yeah. So the like, mistakes you make now uh, even uh, depend on your future. It doesn't matter how hard you work at university. It doesn't matter how hard you work in Naval. You lose the job that you've been dreaming to get from that age because of the p stupid picture you posted at that age. You know. That's yeah. So right. we should really, really, really think what you do now. Before you post anything or send anything to anyone, or because social media has a huge impact on so the many negative these things days. that social media um, has that pedophilia and yeah, not just that. Like you know, when really you're like walking around the streets or whatever, all you see is just like ch like people like children our age is going on their phones doing like you get what I mean like on social media, Facebook, internet. Like why don't Facebook, you just live life? Why don't you just go Instagram. to the park and? Yeah, like just like be active, do, like live your life on the out, like outside of social in media. In the real world, yeah. not the, that fake little world you live in social media. It's like a little, your own little world yeah, where like you just talk bubble. to everyone about yeah. stupid things. And I, f I 
feel like social media is like a way of people to like girl like Muslim girls isn't that like, to talk to other nice. like the opposite gender on Facebook this and that and like obviously it can cause negative effects because they might like start like each talk other. to you yeah like and make you choose to do bad stuff yeah. and obviously so overall what we talked about today is like just remember your boundaries mm, as a yeah. teenager Obviously, you can live your life, live your life beautifully. Do what you want, but then obviously... Do what you want, but do things that are right in Islam, obviously. Do what you want, but do things that your parents let you and Islam lets you. Do what you want, but within the boundaries of Islam. Yeah, the and boundaries, the boundaries of, of your parents' um, sayings and stuff. Yeah, and, like and choose the right choose, path yeah. with your life. Do Bec good things. Make people happy. Cause, and Allah Because remember, happy Allah's planned out the biggest aspects of your life. You just have to. He, there's a, no matter what happens, the biggest aspects that's gonna happen anyway because Allah's already planned it. It's, it matters on how you choose to get to those aspects. Like how you choose to get those aspects. Like who you're gonna marry, the amount of money you make, and um, when those, you're gonna die. Yeah, when you're gonna die is planned out by Allah already. So. It's now it's your decision to choose how you're gonna get those things because no matter what, even if you choose a bad path, you're still gonna get the same amount of money. Even if you choose a good path, you're gonna get the same amount of money. So it's always better you choose a good path because the outcome is always gonna be the same. Yeah, which is so, good. Yeah, I, I really think that's true. So just remember to do what Nabila said and always keep it in the back of your mind. Thank you so much, Nabila, for your wonderful uh, messages. I hope um, I'm very grateful for it. Shamila is very grateful for it, yeah. and the audience will probably is as well. Shamila as well, you as well. We are very grateful for your beautiful messages. Thank you. Inshallah, it will help me, it will help Nabila, and help the audience. Yeah, because this as well. like topic, like I think the viewers watching this should actually like really think about yeah. what we say because take on what we say. Because yeah. I know it just sounds like we're just talking bears and we're just saying stuff, but then in reality like what we're saying like actually think about it like it's not just like words that are coming out of our mouth like we actually do mean the stuff we say because if you like follow what we're saying right now then yeah. it will i can promise you it will like make your life a lot better it will like yeah. have a positive impact, impact on, on your, your life, future yeah. life inshallah so thanks so much for watching stay tuned for next episode on out of focus assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh